What the deal, my people? You know what it is. The Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And this one is Game of Thrones Algorithm. Yep, you heard me right. Game of Thrones Algorithm. You know who it is. It's the Don Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. It's the Don Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. Now, students at the Technical University of Munich has applied their knowledge and their skills to help us understand the likelihood of what character's death could happen this season and over the course of Gang of Thrones. Now, the project is called A Song of Ice and Data, and it analyzes as much online data as it can find about both the book and TV series. It regularly takes updates its information going from fan-based stuff to wiki and also you using the Game of Thrones wiki. It also used the Wikipedia and Twitter. Now the algorithm categorizes each character by more than 20 features including age, title, gender, number of death, relations, and their popularity. Now using this tool and various other predictor factors that these computer guys come up with, they have said that they are able to accurately predict who will be killed in the Game of Thrones? Now, I myself, the Don, I do not have all this computer technology, but I have looked upon their website and have taken the liberty to share you a couple of things that they said if I agree or disagree with it. But I will leave a link in the description to the website so you yourself can go on there and take a look and see what they got to say. Off with my favorite character left in the show right off the bat, and that is Arya of Halstock. And we see they have a little pretty impressive picture, and they do do a good job at this. But we see that they give Arya, I do believe, a 68% chance of dying. You know, I don't think Arya is going to die, but I think that this is an accurate statement. I do believe that 68% is a good number. She could die. I don't think she will, but I think that percentage is a very good percentage. So bravo to them. Let's move on to the next. And it's up next, and I think that this is a very ballsy prediction that they're predicting here because it looks like they're saying 98% chance that Danny will die. I know that makes a lot of people sad, especially my boy Charlie, and a lot of people, you know, happy, like me. But uh, in all honesty, I would just have to say that it's a good number, a very accurate number, but I don't know. 98 is, is extremely high. I do believe she's Nisa Nisa. I do believe she would get stabbed. But as for her being dead to the end of the show, I, I don't know. I don't think she's going to die. I think there has to be a Targaryen left by the end of the show. So I think she has to be that. And I don't think she'll be dead by then. But I do think she'll get stabbed by Nisa Nisa. But ballsy prediction by this machine. But they kind of lose the dime when you're dealing with Cersei Lannister. I don't know how much of predictions or prophecies this uh, computer recognizes. But first you see they have Cersei Lannister at a 16% chance of dying? 16? That's it? I mean, I guess they don't know nothing about Maggie the Frog, or they don't really give a fuck about Maggie the Frog. And the thing that makes it crazy to me is that when you look at Jamie Lannister, they give Jamie Lannister a 64% chance of dying. Now we know that they are dying together, and if one dies, the other dies. So I don't know how you're going to give one 16% and the other one 64 I guess the computers cannot predict the prophecies. But that is why we are still needed on this earth, evidently. So that is one I have to disagree with for the computer people. As I said before, that this thing is constantly updating itself. So some of these numbers may not be the same by the time you go and take a look at it. And that is the reason why. So don't be thinking that I got it wrong. Updates, baby. Updates. Well, they got Davo Seaworth. We'll go through a couple real quick at 91% chance of dying. Uh, pretty accurate. And Peter Bayless, they got a 91% chance of dying. And uh, they got a few other there. Tom and Baratheon at a 97% chance of dying. Uh, we, I agree with all of those above. I think, and I think it's pretty easy to see those. I hate the fact that Davos is gonna die, but I do think it's a good chance he's gonna die. So that is the way I feel. I think it's a good. App, you should go check this an app or you should go check out this website. Remember, it's in the description. This website, so you can go take a look at it. The Game of Thrones algorithm. Alright, and make sure you go and take a look at that. 
So if you would like for me to go through a couple of more of these with you, just put it in the comments and I will take a look at them and maybe make another video, file up video for this and keep going through it. But next time you will see me is on Sunday, 5.30 to 8.30, the pregame show for Game of Thrones. Get motherfucking hype. I'm going to have a bunch of motherfuckers on this show with me. We talking disease, fill the issues guy, maybe Don the Cracking Wit, Don Willie, uh, maybe Sweet YFT, but definitely James Johnson and a bunch of other people left there. I don't want to go through them all, but definitely check out Teflon TV 530 pregame show. You know what I mean? So, if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this. Please spread this across the room and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace! And stay sexy.